Hey, I'm Thea from Supermetrix. You've probably heard that Universal Analytics is about to sunset July 1st, 2023. In this video, we'll cover the reasons why the change is happening and the biggest differences between Universal Analytics and GA4. Hold on to your seat and let's go. One of the biggest reasons why Google decided to make a switch from Universal Analytics was privacy and changed user behavior. When using Universal Analytics, you were stuck using another tool when measuring your mobile app's performance. Combining that data with your website was close to a nightmare. If you wanted to track different events, you needed to manually set this up. Also, Universal Analytics was powered by first and third party cookies. Now that the world is changing, Google was forced to make a change and come up with an alternative solution. Therefore, Google released Web and App Property, and after some time, that property was developed into GA4. And that's the history of it. But now let's dive deeper into actual differences between these platforms. The way Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4 track user interactions are totally different. Where UA used tracking paradigm based on sessions and page views, GA4 measures event-based data. UA only tracks user interactions within sessions, and it only tracks page views across your properties. If you wanted to dig deeper into sessions and add additional events, you needed to put your technical skills to work. In GA4, all of this is done by default. The platform captures user interactions as events and gives you an overall understanding of your user engagement on and offline. Plus, GA4 doesn't use any third-party cookies for tracking. And there's more. Now that the data collection is totally different and the way you can track user interactions both on web and app, the metrics and dimensions can't be the same, right? Well, you guessed it. Here comes one of the biggest headaches of UA users doing the transition. Those fancy reports you've spent years to perfect won't automatically work with GA4 since the fields are not compatible with each other. One of the metrics changes that caused a stir was removing the bounce rate and introducing the engagement rate. But I gotta say, we at Supermetrics prefer it this way. Let me explain. Where bounce rate was a harsh metric to measure if somebody takes action on your site, it didn't take into account if users spent time on your site. So someone could spend minutes on your blog post, but since they didn't submit any form, it was measured as a bounce when they left. An engaged session takes this into consideration and gives you a better understanding if someone is spending time on your blog post and actually engaging with the content, even if they would leave without submitting anything. Well, there you have it, a short summary of the background and the biggest differences between Universal Analytics and GA4. Luckily, you're not alone in this situation. We are all facing the same issue. We have a lot of materials to help you transition from UA to GA4. To learn more, go to supermetrics.com.